see Pumpernickel? Hmm? When TJ Great heard there were Canada geese behind his store, he rushed out to feed them. I have a thing for animals. But there's a reason he's throwing this bread. You don't want to get too close to these geese. And you definitely don't want to make them mad. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. The people who work in this strip mall say the geese have a nest here. We never saw it, but we think it's probably on this island in the parking lot. Probably right in this area right over here. Barbara Hines tried to show us the nest, but the goose came after her, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was a little nervous. A little nervous. I just hope that I fell in a good position. <laughs> Another woman fell earlier in the day. She was taken to the hospital. Apparently the goose chased the person and they fell off the curb and went down on the ground. I think they hurt their face and they couldn't move. Trisha Hogg says the goose was trying to protect its nest. I've seen probably today the, the goose go after at least eight people today so far. Dennis Broadbook says he had to use his briefcase as a shield. He was just coming up on my right hand side. I heard him and I turned and I looked. And all I did was I just kind of held it out like this, and he stopped. Wildlife experts tell us that Canada geese tend to nest in the same spot year after year. These geese have apparently been coming here for the past three years. When they started, there weren't as many stores around. You might think workers around here would mind the geese, but the ones we talked to say they love them, even Barbara Hines. Oh, yeah, I think it's wonderful. I feel sad because I think it would be nice if they had a little bit nicer dwelling here out in West County, but if they're happy with the mulch and the nice little trees, I guess <laughs> that's just as good. Ann State, News for St. Louis.